Watch you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Phonit and Vanda Kerbis BT Bluetooth speakers. Now these are Bluetooth 4.0, comes with a three year warranty and has a total uh, peak power of 340 watts, which is pretty loud for a pair of speakers. Now they're made in Germany and you can expect these to be pretty decent. So we'll give them a good sound test and also give you some of the specs and what you can expect from these particular types of speakers. They're gonna be great for your computer desk where you can blast these out to your music. You're gonna get a UK plug and if you're in Europe, you're gonna get a two pin plug uh, for European uh, sockets as well. So also in this kit, uh, what you can expect is um, a cable tie here with their logo on it and also you're going to get your speaker wire that comes in the kit and you've also got your RCA connectors here which are gold uh, plated uh, double shielded as well this type of cable very high quality cable so if you need one of these it's going to be in the kit now you can also connect these speakers to uh, iOS, Android, Mac OS, uh, Windows device or any Windows device works with Alexa as well which is very useful so it's going to be great for the studio or office or whatever you want to use them for. So you can see here we've got the user manuals, got a various different uh, languages here. It just gives you all the information about uh, the speaker itself. Now I've got the system specs for the speakers here. You've got the woofer, which is a 5.28 inch woofer and also the 68 watts RMS uh, for the speakers. The impedance on there as well is 4 ohms at 20 watts. Uh, so you've got a pretty decent set of speakers here. So let's get rid of these covers and take them off. Now, if I was using these in my home or studio, I would probably remove these and put them in a safe place. Got these little push on lugs here to push them on. Uh, if you wanna keep them dust free, you can keep these on if you wish, but they work with them on or off. It's not gonna make any difference to the sound quality as far as I know. And uh, you can see here, the build quality is pretty decent here as you would expect uh, for these type speakers as you'd expect from German engineering. Now they do claim that there's no distortion at 100% volume and we'll give that a test. And they also claim that it's got good bass and good uh, treble due to the drone FX enhancers and also the hammer bass technology. So on the back, you can see we've got this big air hole here, which is gonna allow the air to come out and this will uh, give you that nice bassy feel as well. We've got these speaker inputs here where you can just push down and push the cables in. On the other speaker, pretty much the same, apart from the uh, controller on the side here. You've got your LED light, which will tell you when you're connected to Bluetooth or whatever connection you've got there. You've got your separate volume, treble and bass, which I do like because that gives you a bit more control. Got that nice wooden uh, enclosure here, which is great for the speaker, which gives it that uh, quality feel and also will um, Help enhance the sound quality as well. Now on the back, you've got some inputs here your power input, your power button, and your speaker uh, inputs there as well. Now, you can connect a phone or a tablet or whatever you like to these speakers. I'm going to be uh, showing you how to connect them to the phone, but I'll also show you how to connect to the PC because you get a much, much louder uh, volume when you're connecting to the PC rather than a phone. You're going to be limited to the phone's capability, it will step it down and give you a warning message saying you're over stretching the volume, it's dangerous for your ears and all this sort of stuff. So what we're gonna do is go and connect this to uh, the phone first. I'll show you here, down the bottom, you can see it. Just connect here and it's paired and connected. Now you will be able to play music uh, from your mobile phone through these speakers. Now, if you do wanna get a much louder uh, volume sound, then connect a dongle to your PC and connect up in settings and in devices and you should see Bluetooth there and you can add a new Bluetooth device. Now sadly due to copyright restrictions I will be playing copyright free music through uh, YouTube so uh, the type of music I'll be playing I'll try and vary it up a little bit so you get a good idea of what the sound quality and the volume is like but once we add our new device we should see the uh, speakers come up and basically click on this and it will connect and then you can uh, connect your speakers and play whatever music you like. So I'm gonna head over to YouTube now and uh, get some copyright free uh, music to play and uh, we will see what these sound like. I'll try and give you my honest opinion on the overall quality of these speakers, whether they're bassy, whether they've got some good sound. So let's head over to YouTube and play some music and see what it sounds like. <laughs>
Now, if you want to disconnect these, you can go back into your devices here and hit the uh, speaker and disconnect and remove it. If you want to disconnect when you finish using them, it's entirely up to you. You can just turn them off if you wish and uh, remove the device if you want to do that. So what do I actually think of the audio quality for these particular speakers? Just one word, wow. These are pretty decent speakers. The sound quality is crystal clear. The microphone from the camera is not giving it justice. They are £149.99 pence, and I think what you're getting for your money here is good clear quality sound, good rich bass and nice mid tones and trebles. It's not overpowering the bass, but it's really good and it enhances the sound. I do like it. It sounds great with all types of genre of music. So if you're looking for a pair of studio speakers or a pair of PC speakers, then check them out. Now I must give these speakers a massive thumbs up because I think the build quality and the sound quality is exceptionally good. I'll be leaving the link in the video description if you're interested. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know what you guys think and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.